Today we're going to explore words with the pattern ow. You might remember that ow can be made with ow, like in the word cow or in the word tower, and it can also be made with the letters ou, like in the words sour and in the word about. To start us off today, I have a little game we're going to play. We're going to play odd word out. You might remember that in odd word out, you're given a collection of words and you get to decide which word might be the odd word out and why. The cool thing about our out is there's not really a right or wrong answer. You get to really think about how the words might fit together and which words might be different and why. Okay, let's get started. So for our odd word out today, I have four words that have to do with being in a crowd. This is something you might experience if you're in a crowd or a group of people. So they're crowd, which means a large group. Shout, which means to yell at the top of your voice. You might have to shout to be heard in a crowd loud, right? It can be very loud in the crowd. And the word bellow. Bellow means to shout um, or yell sort of in a deep, angry voice. So you might have to bellow if you really can't be heard in the crowd. So which of our words, crowd, shout, loud, or bellow, do you think might be the odd word out and why? You might think bellow is the odd word out <laughs> because it's the only word that doesn't have our ow sound. Let's go ahead and explore that. Crowd, in crowd we have our OW that makes the ow. What about shout? Yep, there's our OU making that ow sound in shout. What about loud? Yep, there's our OU in loud. And what's happening in bellow? Right? You might notice our OW at the ends, but it doesn't make an ow sound, does it? In this word, bellow makes the O sound. So bellow could be the odd word out because it's the only word that doesn't have our ow pattern. Hmm. You might also think that bellow is the odd word out because it's the only word with two syllables, right? Let's clap our syllables. Crowd, shout, loud, bellow. You might even have noticed that bellow is the only word with a double consonant. Cool, huh? What other word do you think might be the odd word out? Maybe you think loud is the odd word out because it's our only word with four letters. Or maybe shout is the odd word out because it's our only word that has a digraph in it, has that SH digraph. So I'm curious to know which word you think is the odd word out and why. Thanks for playing with me. So the last time we met, we did some exploring and thinking about when you might use OW to make the OW sound and when you might use OU to make the OW sound. And we had discovered that if a word ended in ow, or if a syllable ended in ow, we would probably use ow, like in cow or cower. We also noticed that if a word had the ow sound in the middle, a lot of times that was made with the ou. We even discovered that there were some times where this didn't work at all, and it was just sort of different. Like if we had the word family own, like clown or frown, or the word family owl, like howl or growl, we might just use the OW. So what we're gonna do today is we're just gonna practice using this thinking to help us figure out when to use OW and when to use OU. And really we're just doing this to give ourselves some practice exploring this pattern. So I'm gonna make some words today on my whiteboard with magnetic letters. You're welcome to use a whiteboard and letters if you have that at home. Maybe you have some letter tiles from a board game. Or maybe you just want to use a paper and pencil or even your finger in the carpet in front of you. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, say a few words, listen for where that ow sound is, and then use that to make some decisions about whether or not we're going to spell ow with our OW pattern or ow with our OU pattern. Ready to get started? All right. Let's go ahead and start with the word count, right? I have to count all my money before I go to the store to make sure I have enough. Count. So say the word count with me. Count, ow. Where do you hear that ow? Count. It's in the middle of the word, isn't it? Hmm, so if our ow's in the middle of the word, which pattern are we gonna use? Yeah, let's use that OU. I'm gonna write it here on my board. Will you have a go um, on the work surface in front of you? Count. Count. Here it is. And our, our ow sounds in the middle, so we decided to use an OU. Count. All right, pretty cool, huh? 
What about the word, oh, let's change it up and let's write the word chow. Um, I like to chow down on pizza at lunch because I like to eat it really fast. Chow, say chow with me, chow. Where do you hear that ow? Here's at the end, right? So how do you think we're gonna spell chow? Let's have a go. Chow. Ch Here's my, here my CH digraph. Ch ow, it's at the end. So if it's at the end, I'm going to try that O-W, chow like cow. Huh, pretty cool, huh? What if I was gonna change chow to chowder? Chowder is a thick soup. Um, corn chowder, you might have before, or clam chowder. All right, if I want to say I want to chow down on some clam chowder, hmm, what am I going to use, O-U or O-W? Let's say the word chowder. Let's clap it, chowder. Where do you hear the ow? Yeah, I hear it at the end of that first syllable, chowder. So I know if my ow is at the end of a syllable, I'm probably going to do an O-W. Let's go ahead and spell chowder. So here's chow. chowder hmm. so do you see how saying the word slowly and just listening for where that owl is in the word can help you make a decision about how you might want to spell it let's play with the word um, about that's the one you probably use a lot in your writing about where do you hear the owl about it's not at the end is it it's in the middle so if it's in the middle we need to use a what I heard you say it, there's our O-U, right? So I'm gonna build the word about. Uh, about, I'm just gonna borrow my O-U from here. Oops, uh, about. And because my owl's in the middle, I just went ahead and used the O-U pattern. Out, about, fun, huh? What about the word powder? Powder, let me clear my board. While I clear my board, will you clap powder? and listen for where you hear that ow sound. Powder. Hmm, I think I heard you say it's at the end of that first syllable, isn't it? Powder. So if, if ow's at the end of a syllable, we're gonna go ahead and use our O-W. So let's go ahead and build the word powder. Pow. What if I wanted to change powder to power? Would I change my O-W? No, because my pow, my ow, is still at the end of a syllable. Listen, power. So power, right? There's our O-W at the end of a syllable. Cool, huh? What if I wanted to spell the word crown? Crown. The princess wore a beautiful golden crown. Hmm, now let's think about that one. I don't hear my ow at the end, do I? It's not at the end of the word, it's not at the end of a syllable, it's in the middle, but I know crown sounds like frown or clown, and so I know that that's that, I think I heard you say it, O-W, crown. So let's go ahead and build that right there, crown. And let's try one more, oh, this is a fun one, growl. I heard the bear growl in the woods, so I ran away really fast. Growl, hmm, growl. Where do you hear the owl? It's kind of in the middle, right? But it sounds like howl and scowl, doesn't it? So I know when I have that pattern, I'm gonna stick with my OW. So I'm gonna turn crown into growl. So one of the things you can do as you're working with words with these OW and OU patterns, and you're trying to make decisions about which one you should use, just say the word slowly and listen for where you hear the ow sound in the word. If you hear the ow sound at the end of a word or at the end of a syllable, try OW. If you hear the ow sound in the middle of a word, try OU. If you hear that sound and it's like own like town or gown or owl like growl or howl stick with your ow and that's work you can do whenever you're writing and you're trying to make some decisions about which pattern to use in your spelling thanks for learning with me